Hey guys, this is DC Lesh, and today we have an unboxing from Amazon. Now, this is going to be a very, very interesting uh, unboxing. So, uh, it is the year 2024, which means that it is the 50th anniversary of the invention of the Rubik's Cube. Now, the Rubik's Cube itself came out in 1980, but it was invented in 1974, and I believe that it was originally sold in Hungary as like the Magic Cube or something like that. Uh, so this is going to be the 50th anniversary uh, Rubik's Retro Cube. Now, I do have one of the other uh, anniversary cubes. This is the 30th anniversary Rubik's Wood Cube, which is really, really cool. Um, and there was also the 25th anniversary cube, which was basically the same thing uh, as the normal Rubik's Cube that they were selling at the time, except instead of a white side, they had a silver side. So... Uh, this cube is doing something similar to that, uh, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and open the package. I think I can just rip it here. Yeah, they made it pretty easy to open. I actually didn't even need these scissors to begin with, or maybe I do, because I think that just ripped off. Yeah, no, I'm going to need the scissors. <laughs> uh, that just ripped off the top part. It didn't actually go down to the part that's actually you need to open so I think I just tried to use it. Just use them as scissors. Let's just open this up like this. And uh, this should be fine. There we go. And let's reach in. And here we have the 50th anniversary Rubik's Retro Cube. This was $14 on uh, Amazon, and so I figured probably a good idea to go ahead and pick it up. Now, this, from what I understand, is a replica of the original 1980s Rubik's Cube, which I have right here. So it'll be nice to have another one of these. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So apparently this is what... The Rubik's Cube packaging used to look like when the cube first came out. It was this nice cylinder looking thing. Uh, I'm, I'm somewhat concerned about this part down here uh, peeling it off because I really uh, I really don't want to uh, ruin this packaging. Um, I'm, if I do I might just have to get another one of these uh, just to keep it in the box. But uh, I want to be able to take this thing out and play with it because it looks really cool. So you can see it has the nice gold side and it has uh, 50 years on it with the, the Rubik's Cube as the zero. Uh, so yeah, you've got you've got the box. What is this? Spin Master Toys, UK Limited, all rights reserved, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so yeah, that's what, it, that's what the packaging looks like. Uh, and then under here is just a bunch of nothing. So uh, let's see if we can open this up uh, without ruining the sticker that goes around here. So I'm going to try to dig under the sticker in such a way that I don't damage it. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. And I do plan on eventually getting an unsealed uh, or another, another one of these. It, it looks really difficult to do. I might just have to, uh, I really hate to do this. I might just have to score it along the bottom here. Ooh, come on. So, let's see. I really hate doing this, but the other way seems to be a little too difficult, and uh, I can always just get another one to keep mint in box. So, let's go ahead and just ruin the packaging. Okay, there we go. So... Uh, here it is, and, uh, I'm just gotta remember what the orientation of this. Let's go ahead and open it up. That's a little not separated right here. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's get this in. Let's open this up. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Uh, so as you can see, instead of a yellow side, it has a gold side, which looks really, really cool. Let's go ahead and pick this up. 
Oh wow. And then of course the white side doesn't have the doesn't have the logo on it. The the original Rubik's Cube the original uh, Rubik's Cube had the logo on the white side, but you can see it's a perfect replica of the logo right there. Uh, the colors, obviously this one has a, a different color scheme, uh, and this is kind of faded over time. Ooh, the green looks different. And I think that the person I bought this cube from just got a different uh, set of orange stickers and put that on there, so that's not the original color. Uh, but yeah, there's that. And, uh, out of the box, I gotta say, it feels pretty loose already. Um, so that's that's interesting. It might actually turn pretty decently. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do first turns on the Rubik's Retro Cube. Huh. It actually turns very well. Look at corner cutting on this thing. It's not that great, but it is a, an original Rubik's Cube, so I wouldn't expect it to be terrific, but this is actually this actually turns really well for what I'm presuming is an original Rubik's Cube. Uh, I've already got I've already got a finger a finger a, fi a fingerprint on the gold side, so so let's go ahead and open it up. So I want to see if it really is a replica and it comes apart quite easily. Oh no. Okay, so we have a problem here. Uh, this is not a replica of the original Rubik's Cube. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my original Rubik's Cube here and show you why that is why it is not a replica. So here is an original the inside of an original Rubik's Cube. Now as you can see the centerpiece is very flat. Uh, on the original cube, whereas on this cube, the centerpiece is curved. Now, this is what the Rubik's Cube looked like later on when it came out. Uh, so yeah, this is actually not a replica of an original Rubik's Cube, um, a 1980s cube. Also, you can see the core of a 1980s cube is clear, whereas the core of uh, this cube is not. So this is actually not the equivalent of an original uh, Rubik's Cube. So that is a little disappointing, uh, but I didn't really buy this so that I can have an original Rubik's Cube because I already have one. I bought this because it's the 50th anniversary cube and I wanted to be able to have one of the, and I wanted to be able to have one. So it is a little disappointing uh, that this is not, that this cube has not got the mechanism that I thought it would have. But it's still really cool to own, and uh, to be quite frank, I don't actually, I don't think I actually own uh, a Rubik's Cube with this style of mechanism anymore. I used to have one, but I gave it away to a friend of mine forever ago. And it turns pretty nicely, I gotta say. So I'm going to go ahead, now the stickers, I'm not entirely sure if they also... Uh, did because the stickers from the original Rubik's Cube are also different from the stickers that they eventually ended up using. The stickers that were on the original Rubik's Cube were these nice vinyl stickers. Whereas the the uh the subsequent versions of the Rubik's Cube had these paper stickers that had a clear uh film over it. And if you uh messed with the cube enough, the clear film would start to peel away. Uh, uh, which would expose the, the colored portion of the sticker, and if you rub that enough, the color would come off, and it would just leave the sticker completely white. So I'm hoping that that's not what they have on this thing, but it does have the design of those types of Rubik's Cubes, so it might. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do a solve on this cube, on the... Rubik's Retro Cube. I will say, like, mixing it up, like, obviously it's it's locking up a whole lot. It's not, it's not the equivalent of, like, a modern-day speed cube. But I do like the feeling of it. It reminds me a lot of, like, when I first started cubing and I would use cubes like this. So, there's the cube all mixed up, so let's go ahead and do inspection. All right, 
So that's a 12... 21. Uh, it's obviously the old Rubik's Cube uh, style of mechanism, which was not really a great uh, mechanism of cube. But it turns really well, and it's just really cool to have that, uh, that nice golden side to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Rubik's Cube. So that is my unboxing. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going I'm to put this right here and... Just kind of keep it in here like this. I'll put that back over there. And yeah, it, it kind of looks a little ugly like this because I, I, I kind of ruined it. But it is what it is. Um, and if, I, if it really bothers me, I'll just get another one. So that is it uh, for the Rubik's Retro Cube. Um, yeah, uh, I would definitely recommend this for a collection. Uh, it's a pretty cool thing to have. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please come back next time for another video for you from me. And this is DC Lesh saying goodbye. <laughs>